Hey there. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to customize the print web layout of Aptivo. So if you are a new user to Aptivo, Aptivo supports uh, the print web layout just like this, where the users can download them as a PDF file and then attach it to an email and send it out to their customers. So there are a few apps instead of Aptivo that supports it, like the estimates, the contracts, or the invoices, or the orders that you, that you pretty much you know, send it out to your customers. So in this video, we're gonna be specifically looking at how to customize this match, the, the print web layout, especially uh, how do we add the header and the footer to it, and what are some of the customization options that are available with an Aptivo to customize the print web layout? Now, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna use the Estimates app as an example for this video, but this guide is gonna pretty much apply for any other print web layout instead of Aptivo. Now, to customize the print web layout, the first step to do is click the three dot or more button, go to the settings. So the thumb rule is anytime, anywhere, instead of Aptivo, you think of customizing anything. So the first step is go to the settings area. So when we get into the settings, you would see a lot of different options. Um, but, but for today's video, we're gonna go click the customize app and open print web layouts. So we, when, when we get into the print web layout, we'll see a lot of uh, templates that are available already. But for this video, we're gonna be creating something new. So in order to create a new template, I have a few different options where I can start from. I can maybe start it from or with a blank layout, or I can start with the default, or I can copy from another layout. So for this video, we'll click open, start with the default layout, and immediately it asks for the template name. I'll maybe call it as header and footer, and then click next. So now, the template is created and it would take us to the customization area. So if you, th this is the panel where you can pretty much easily customize. It's a simple drag and drop editor where you have on the right hand side, you have the palette with a list of sections. And then there are a few attributes that you could maybe potentially add them in. And then also there are other attributes like business attributes, the customers attributes a lot of other options too, including the estimate attributes. So there are, uh, you know, there are a lot of ways that you could customize this print web layout. You can maybe, if you don't want them, you can maybe simply delete that section or you can rearrange them, like, you know, putting somewhere out there, something like that. But for this video, we're gonna be specifically talking about how do I add a header and footer and I have multiple pages, right? So in order to do it, I simply add the header, it's a simple drag and drop. So I add the header here. I can add more uh, attributes to it. I can click it and then maybe uh, do some of the customization here. But I basically have all the, all the area to add attributes. Now maybe I can add in the logo. So I can maybe drag and drop it just right there. It will bring me the logo. I can click it and then maybe browse and upload an image to it. To keep it simple for this video, I'm gonna just color code it. So maybe I'll just uh, keep this color as my header. And then I go back to the palette and scroll down and then I can add a footer. So that is one of the palette sections that I can add. Okay, so I'll keep the footer here. So also into the footer, you can add more values or attributes to it, or you can add more text, like a static text, you can maybe add them in here. Uh, but to keep it simple, I click it, and then maybe I make some colors. So now it's pretty clear that this color is the header, and this is the footer area of my print web layout. Now the other thing that we are looking at is to, how to have more pages. I can keep adding more stuffs to it, but we break the page by using a simple attribute called page break. So wherever you wanted to put a page break, all you gotta do is like pick the page break and drop it right there. So in this template, we will see the first page until here, until the tasks table, followed by the products table and the, and the summary table would be on the second page. So the page break is the is the attribute where you can use it to add more pages. 
Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and save it. And let's take a look how does it look. I will go back to the estimates homepage and I will randomly maybe pick this guy up here. I'll maybe choose the template, the header and the footer, save it. Now I can uh, send it to the client. I can also print the PDF. So when I click it, it would download the copy of that print layout. So when I click open, perfect. So it has two pages, the header, the footer is in here. And for the second page, there's the header and the footer separately, but pretty identical. And you can further maybe download it and then send it out as a, in an email or use Aptivo to send it out to your customers. That's pretty much for today. If you do have more questions, feel free to drop an email to support at Aptivo.com. Thanks and you have a good rest of your day.